So it looks like Diddy's mom, Janice Combs, is not exactly the innocent woman that she would like us to believe she is because fans just dug out some interesting things about her past. Let's just say that it's not exactly shocking that Diddy turned out the way he did considering who raised him. Fans have speculated for years that Janice could have been enabling Diddy's bad behavior. Now it looks like we finally have some confirmation of that. Fans just put two and two together to uncover some seriously unsettling things about Janice's past. Did she really fake a health emergency to get Diddy out of legal trouble? And did she really accuse Cassie of lying and setting Diddy up? Let's break this down. If you've been following Diddy's story, then you probably already know that Janice raised him and his sister Keisha as a single mother after their father, Melvin Combs, passed away when Diddy was only three years old. Melvin was an officer in the Air Force, but it turns out that he was living a double life because he also worked with the notorious kingpin, Frank Lucas. Yes, that Frank Lucas. There have been reports over the years that Melvin was in a failed deal, but hey, y'all didn't hear that from me. Anywho, after Melvin's death, Janice moved her kids away from Harlem to Mount Vernon in New York because she wanted them out of that life. She didn't want them to fall into the same lifestyle that their father did, but judging by what we know about Diddy, well, let's just say that she wasn't exactly successful in that regard. Anywho, even though they moved out of Harlem, the family used to visit frequently because Diddy's grandparents still lived in Harlem. Speaking about this, Diddy said, until I was 12, I lived in Harlem. Then we moved to Mount Vernon, New York. That was my mom's way of getting us out of the inner city after my father was but my grandmother lived in Harlem, so I went back and forth. I remember the simple things about Mount Vernon, grass, trees, and being able to play baseball. In Harlem, there was no Little League, no front yard with grass, but the neighborhood was multicultural, so that broadened my horizons. To Janice's credit, she did put in the work to care for and provide for her kids. She reportedly worked three jobs to put Diddy and Keisha through private school. She even went as far as lying to Diddy about how his father died to protect him from the truth. Diddy spoke about this in an interview and said, she tried to protect me. My father was a hustler who sold during his time. That was the way out of Harlem, either that or playing basketball. My mother didn't want me to follow in his footsteps, so she was selective about which truths she told me. My father was in the army and he owned a limousine service and he died in a car accident. Actually, he was in a car. But even as a kid, I put two and two together. I noticed that guys from the streets in Harlem always seemed to know my family's last name. I used to run with their father, they tell me. All my uncles were street hustlers as well. Janice's hard work eventually paid off when her son became one of the biggest names in the rap industry. However, it didn't take long for rumors to start floating about their interesting relationship. Once Diddy's freak-offs were exposed, fans started putting two and two together and we realized how weird their relationship was. For example, in this weird video, Diddy showed off his mom's body and made a very weird comment about how she could touch the floor with her palms. Yeah, my mom's gorgeous. Well, let me introduce you to my mom called Ma Dukes. Hi. She's getting a drip with me. She's hydrating. What's up, Ma? Everything's good, baby. I'm here with you. Yeah. I love you. I love you, too. Ma, I freshly dipped, though. <laughs> I, I was just trying to show you shoes. <laughs> yeah, my mom's a single. Mom's a single. I ain't gonna hate on my mom's. She's single. Me and my mom talked about one time doing a dating show, but she's so picky. She's so picky, they don't stand. But yeah, that'd be the funniest show in the world. It will be, especially with me. I don't even want to get started if she was doing that. We're not doing that, because... Yeah, my mom's single. Yeah, for real. Mom do know how to have a good time. Yeah. She ain't sitting in the house playing. Yeah. And outside moving and shaking, baby. Yeah, right. She come with me to strip club. I don't care. <laughs> For real. It's my dog. You know, I want to live life. We out here moving and grooving. So my mom told me, she just said, keep moving, baby. That's right. Keep moving. She don't stop. She could touch, she could touch um, the floor with her palms. You know? Flat. Flat. Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> pew, pew, pew. <laughs> now that was creepy on so many levels. Oh, and y'all know those rumors of Janice enabling Diddy? Well, after Diddy got raided by the feds earlier this year, there were reports that he was going to be arrested. But the next thing we knew, Janice conveniently had a health emergency that required Diddy to be by her side. TMZ reported that Janice Combs was rushed to the hospital on Wednesday after she complained about discomfort in her chest. According to sources close to Diddy, it's still unclear exactly what caused the pain, but we're told she's going to remain in the hospital for at least another day. Our sources say Diddy was in Miami at the time and at his mom's request, went to the hospital to be by her side. We're told Janice believes the pain is related to stress over her son's legal woes, including the federal investigation and multiple civil lawsuits. She has been seen spending time with him in Miami in the months since the federal raids on his home. For several weeks, Diddy circled the wagons and really only spent time with the family members like Janice and his kids. We're told doctors are keeping her hospitalized another night for further testing and observation, and Diddy is still there with her. As the source put it, he's her comfort in this. But the moment we found out that Diddy wasn't getting arrested, she conveniently ended up getting better. Interesting, isn't it? Now, given the whole federal case and the people who have come out, you'd think that Janice would feel a type of way, right? Well, no. Instead, she released a long statement where she dragged everybody and accused them of setting up her precious baby boy. She said, I come to you today as a mother that is devastated and profoundly saddened by the allegations made against my son, Sean Combs. It is heartbreaking to see my son judge not for the truth, but for a narrative created out of lies. To bear witness what seems to be like a public lynching of my son before he has had the opportunity to prove his innocence is a pain too unbearable to put into words. Like every human being, my son deserves to have his day in court to finally share his side and to prove his innocence. She continued, I am not here to portray my son as perfect because he is not. He has made mistakes in his past as we all have. My son may not have been entirely truthful about certain things, such as denying he has ever gotten an ex-girlfriend when the hotel surveillance showed otherwise. Sometimes the truth and a lie become so closely intertwined that it becomes terrifying to admit one part of the story, especially when the truth is outside the norm or is too complicated to be believed. This is why I believe my son's civil legal team opted to settle the ex-girlfriend's lawsuit instead of contesting it until the end, resulting in a ricochet effect as the federal government used this decision against my son by interpreting it as an admission of guilt. It's crazy how she's trying to gaslight everyone about Diddy not being guilty of laying hands on Cassie when there's actual video proof of him doing the most in that hotel hallway. And let's not forget, Diddy himself admitted to getting with her, saying he was disgusted by who he was back then. But here comes Janice acting like him settling that lawsuit after just one day isn't basically an admission of guilt. Like, girl, please. The statement continued, it is important to recognize that none of us, regardless of our status, are immune to fear or mistakes. Not being entirely straightforward about one issue does not mean my son is guilty of the repulsive allegations and the grave charges leveled against him. Many individuals who were wrongfully convicted and later exonerated had their freedom taken from them, not because they were guilty of the crimes they were accused of, but because they didn't fit the image of what this society considers to be a good person. History has showed us how individuals can be wrongfully convicted due to their past actions or mistakes. The statement also said, watching the world make jokes and laugh at my son's life crumbling before our eyes is something I can never forget. Forget. It is truly agonizing to watch the world turn against my son so quickly and easily over lies and misconceptions without ever hearing his side or affording him the opportunity to present his side. These lies thrown at him are motivated by those seeking a financial gain and not justice. These individuals saw how quickly my son's civil legal team settled his ex-girlfriend's lawsuit so they believe they can receive a quick payday by falsely accusing my son. But that's not all because she also accused the feds of lying against Diddy and going on a witch hunt against him, stripping him of his dignity in the process. It said, false allegations of S.A. thwart true victims of S.V. from getting the justice they deserve. To make matters worse, the federal government is now using these lies to prosecute my son. This injustice has been unbearable for our family. The worst part of this ordeal is watching my beloved son be stripped of his dignity, not for what he did, but for what people choose to believe of him. She then asked people to stop coming after her precious little boy, saying, I ask his supporters, fans, colleagues, friends, and the public to not judge him before you've had the chance to hear his side. I beg you to think about those who have been wrongfully persecuted, to remember that not everyone who has made mistakes in life deserves to have their entire existence judged by a single action or a few mistakes. Mistakes. My son is not the monster they have painted him to be, and he deserves the chance to tell his side. I can only pray that I am alive to see him speak his truth and be vindicated. Yeah, it's not surprising that people think that Jan
Janice has been aiding and abetting Diddy because this statement is insensitive to the victims to say the least. Anywho, fans had a lot to say about this and they commented, ma'am, you need to sit this one out. You know your son is who he appears to be. Everybody ain't lying on him and I'm pretty sure you participated in his debauchery. My son is not the monster they have painted him to be. No ma'am, he's worse. They ran out of paint before they could portray him accurately. And she's a crazy enabler. Notice how she begins her defense of her son by suggesting that the allegations made against him are lies. Ignoring the fact that his demonic self took to social media to defame and accuse Cassie of extortion, only to apologize after CNN leaked footage of his she needs to come to terms that he's a horrible person. This situation is a mess, but drop your thoughts in the comments, then check out this next video.